Welcome everyone, a new day, a new doll. Today's girl is my take on a temple spirit. I wanted to give her lots of tattoos. I kind of imagined that she has lived in her temple since the beginning of time, and as life has grown around her and her temple, her tattoos have appeared to reflect that. I drew a lot of inspiration from Chinese porcelain painting as I was creating her tattoos. I loved the idea that her skin would eventually look like some kind of vase or beautiful sculpture. To create her tattoos, I'm just using a super sharp Faber-Castell watercolour pencil, occasionally spraying layers of Mr. Super Clear to stop the tattoos from smudging. I love that the tattoos read like a real landscape, with a big lake at the bottom, moving up through some trees and forests, and ornate temple roofs peeking through at the very top. Here I'm just using some chalk pastels to blush her body, as well as some mica powders for extra shine and texture. Onto the face up. I prepped her with three layers of Mr. Super Clear, and I'm just using my super sharp watercolor pencils to lay down some pigment.
Again, I'm just using some chalk pastels to give some soft colour and texture. I wanted her to look really beautiful and innocent, and I loved the way her big green eyes and blushy face turned out. Again, I'm going in with some mica powders for some glowy, shimmery texture, and I'm glossing her eyes and lips. Using acrylic yarn in two shades of green, I make some hair wefts for a little girl. I knew I wanted to give her an updo to ensure that her hair didn't cover up any of her tattoos. I decided to give her seven little twisted buns. I thought it was a really cute and unique look for her. To create this style, I sketched out all of the part lines on her scalp, and then started gluing hair wefts in the wrong direction around these lines. This means that when I flip the hair and style it into the bun, I am left with a super neat part line. I like to attach my hair wefts with fabric glue. I like how quick it is to dry. This means there's less of a risk of the wefts sliding around and drying in the wrong position. I ended up not making enough hair wefts the first time around, so that's why she's half bald in these videos. Sorry! I took some accessories from a Jinnify Long doll that I have lying around. I think these shoes are sculpted so beautifully. I decided to leave the lines their original colour, but I wanted to paint the shoes a steely silver. I paint a base layer in black as it's a great way to prepare for the silver paint. I also wanted to give her a little lantern accessory. I imagine she'll need it to protect the temple at night. Mm -hmm. 
Using a tiny brush, I'm just bringing out some of the details in a lion sculpt. I seal everything with some glossy varnish. This protects the paint and also gives it a beautiful shiny finish. I thought Jennifer's lantern earrings were super cute, so I painted them silver as well. I made her dress off camera. I really wanted to give her a transparent gown, which proved to be super challenging for me. This was my third or fourth try, which is why I don't have any footage of me making it. It's actually made from an organza gift bag, and the trim is from the drawstring pull. I use a button knot to finish off this cord that will tie around her waist. And with that, she's all done. I asked over on Instagram for help naming her, and you all chose Ichigo. I hope you love her. If you liked this doll or this video, please don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and to follow me on Instagram at MrSuperCustoms. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.